a special meeting of the Ware School Board to order. We're going to start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge to, to the, the flag, flag of the United States, States of America, America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one, one nation, nation under God, God indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So let the minutes show that Rochelle Kelly resigned on September 23rd. This meeting. So um, let the record call that uh, Rochelle Kelly resigned on September 23rd. This meeting is to discuss how we fill the vacancy per uh, policy BBE and um, RSA 671 colon 33. Which I could read, but I think y'all have probably seen these already. Basically, is so it's the board's job to fill the vacancy until the next election. So in March, the community will vote on how to fill that final year of this term. So tonight, we're just talking about how we fill the next six months. Okay. So um, there's several ways we can go about this. I don't know if somebody wants to make a motion. You want to just talk. Um, this is not clearly this is not a regular meeting. This is very targeted at one thing. Could I'd like to discuss the different options? Sure. Did you want me to say what I know for <laughs> options? Oh, okay. Please. Um, so there are several things. Um, you know, when 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 Donnie died, they posted it. They got um, people to apply. The board reviewed them, interviewed, and then voted. Another option is to request a, a previous board member fill in. Um, another one would be, especially when we have multiple people ran in the last election, look at, because that honestly is the closest to what the, the taxpayers have said, look at the next person on the line um, and, and ask them to sit in. You can, you can just pick somebody out of the sky if you want. I wouldn't recommend that. Um, what else? Those are the ones I, I know have happened in the state. Um, I don't know if there are others that y'all want to talk about. Sorry, I come back to you. I hate this that we're not in a square so we can actually look at each other. Go ahead. Um, I was going to say is is um, I heard mentioned about you know the next closest person and the who ran. Um, I was just curious. So I guess what you said that is an option. I was just curious about you know. I mean, I guess we could approach pr people. However, you know, they may not be interested anymore, for sure. example, yeah. you know, so. Right, and we don't have to make a decision on who that person is tonight. It's just mm -hmm. we need to just agree on how we want to move forward. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I uh, yeah, I mean, I don't, are we talking about what, which one we like best right now? Sure. Um, personally, I, I'm, I'm more along the lines of, like, do we have a time frame if we did, like, the option where we had, you know, people apply and then how long we would have do the interview process like a does it have to be before the next meeting per se we have to fill the position or so we don't have to, well we have to fill the spot it doesn't have to be by the next um uh, the meeting the one concern i would have is and i know this is your first year this is sarah's first year the budget season is crazy pants for school board members. So starting in October, we're going to have lots of meetings, lots of information, lots of data that you have to have. And so if we don't seat somebody in October, then they will not be privy to all the discussions that happened. So, so ideally, by the October meeting. So we have like two weeks or so. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'll just say I'm in favor of, of people kind of reaching out, applying for it, and then interviewing those people. That's, that's yeah. what I'm in favor of. Um, I would agree with you, but maybe um, to narrow the pool a little bit, maybe we could reach out specifically to the people that ran in the last election um, and just see and reach out to all of them and see if any of them are still interested and then sort of do the interview process that way. Um, that way it's not, it, it's just a smaller pool of people that have already applied and 
given their statements and credentials and information to the town, I suppose. I don't know. Yeah, I'm between two. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's, it's not I, easy. I see, I see a lot of validity in the next person in line based upon the voters who the, uh, decided. Um, I do see the post and apply, but I'm just concerned about time-wise because I know you have how many negotiations you're in right now? One. Eight or something? Oh, Six. Exactly, yeah. um, so I, I just, I don't know... Because I, I do feel like by our, the October meeting, we need to have someone so that they have all the stuff because it, it's a hard enough position to come into midway, let alone after we start something. Um, and hopefully that person would be willing to jump in on negotiations too mm -hmm. so that there's more than one person on negotiations. So I'm kind of stuck in between those two I think for options. me, the elephant in the room is... The town is extremely divided right now, right? So um, if we go down the interview process, whoever we select, half of the community is going to be angry. They're going to say there's conspiracies. They're going to be like, so there's no way to sort of give the voters a say other than looking at the last election. That's, that's only my, that's my um, stance. I mean, if y'all don't mind being having everybody mad at you and posting your private information on, on Facebook, then that's fine. But um, I, I feel like the best way to get the, the voters' perspective is to look at the last election. But, but, you're, but you're all right. There's no easy answer, right? I mean, I would agree. I think that's fair, at least to say, you know, if the next runner-up would would get that opportunity, um, I just think that's a valid argument, I suppose. So, are we talking about looking at just the person with the highest votes, or are we talking about like the people who ran in that election because they've already been, well, they haven't been interviewed per se, but they had done, gone through interviews while they were running i think both options are, are valid i think for myself i was thinking the highest only because if you want um voter um feedback the the person who got the most votes is the winner and if we undo that we pick someone other than that person or the second person if the first person is not interested we've then narrowed the pool but not necessarily taken the voters perspective in into play my thought, but I'm just one vote. I'm just trying to talk things through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you, if you feel like you want to make a motion, you can. Um, I would like to make a motion to extend the seat offer to the person who received the th next most number of votes in the most recent election. Do I have a second? I'll second then. Okay. Do we have any more discussion? Just a point of clarification. <laughs> um, what would we do if that person's not interested? Sure, that's a very really bad question. I think that it should go to the next person down. Just go down the line? Sure. And so is that what, kind of what you were thinking? Sure. Yep. Um, so to amend the motion, we would offer it to the next person and then so on and so forth down the line. Mm -hmm. And hopefully someone says yes. yes. <laughs> okay. So I'll, se second, for the I'll amendment? second the amendment. Okay. So um, do we have a vote on the amendment? I think of it. Um, I don't know. Roll call. Do you um, agree with that? Yes. yes. Christine? Yes. Me? Yes. Sarah? Yes. yes. Okay. Any more discussion on the main motion, which is to extend it to the, the, second, the first runner-up in the last election? No? Okay. 
All in favor of that? Daniel? Aye. 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 Okay. All right. See that? Super quick meeting. Um, all right. So we will reach, I will reach out to the top, next top vote getter, um, which was Alyssa Small, I believe. Um, all right. So do I have a motion to adjourn? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Great. Do I have a second? I'll second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Aye. Aye. Thank you. And Daniel, I'll talk to you in like 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs>